What's up, everybody? This is Ryan Gatowski with One Board Family, and I'm joined tonight by Bob. Oh, Ryan, hey, I didn't know you were ready. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. Hey, everybody, how you doing? What's yeah, up, Ryan? So, what's how up, Bob? Doing, how are you? Yeah, we're doing uh, good. It's the end of the weekend, uh, which yeah. is sad, but, you know, whatever. It's we got a game to play. It yep. is. It is. So we got a game to play tonight. We have Chad, uh, Chad Elkins of 25th Century Games. You guys have seen him on the on the live streams playing games with us before. So, oh, yeah. Chad, what is up? Good, sir. Hey, hey, hey. Good to see y'all. Yeah, What's definitely. What's going man. on, brother? No, thanks for the uh, invitation this week. I'm very excited to be here and uh, obviously playing not only playing with y'all, which is always a pleasure, uh, but also I think we've got a fantastic game to show y'all and yeah. a very special guest joining us as well. Yeah, absolutely. So we have the designer of the game, Danny Devine. How are you doing, Danny? Hey, I'm doing great. Hey. Thanks for having me. Good. So I actually, uh, we, I met you on Twitter through um, when you created the game uh, Harvest Dice. And so yep. I had done a review and took some pictures of Harvest Dice and you had reached out and said, oh, cool. I like the picture. And so I was, uh, I was very, I was like, oh man, this is awesome. I got to meet Danny virtually. So <laughs> Ryan, Ryan was starstruck. It was like, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Around telling his wife and the whole family, you know, yeah, I was like, guess, who guess who I met on Twitter. So, they were like, is this a real person, Ryan? So. You never know. I might just be a really good robot. That's right. That's right. So, they always try to get those robots with those recapture things on websites. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm good at designing games, but terrible at identifying parking meters and pictures. So. That's right. <laughs> it's crosswalks for me it's crosswalks it's crosswalks. Crosswalks. crosswalks i always get it wrong every time yeah. so. there's like there's like a meme going around about like, i saw this meme it was like the identify the street light and it was like barely in it and it showed a picture yeah. of this guy like sweating he's like oh, he's sweating no, yeah. <laughs> absolutely so uh, cool. Well, we've got the game Kohaku. This is a game that we really love. This was originally something that we saw uh, in Atlanta when we were at uh, Southern Fried Gaming Expo a couple years ago. Um, it is a game that we all super enjoy. And when we find uh, when we got the final version of it through Kickstarter, I was so impressed with just how everything turned out from the artwork to the tiles beautiful game so we're going to play it virtually for you on tabletop simulator um and hopefully it won't do it justice you need to get this thing yeah. in your hand you need to get this thing on the table because tabletop simulator is not going to do the table presence justice at all absolutely however you'll be able to see the mechanics of how this game flows and how serene and how relaxing and smooth this tile laying tile drafting game is that's right Cool. So we're going to jump into the game and uh, Chad and Danny, I guess you guys will kind of explain what's going to go on and uh, explain it to our viewers. So let's see here. All right. Are we in? Uh, I think. Oh, nope. There we go. There we go. There we are. All right. Yeah. Uh, so the the game of Kohaku, your, the goal is that we're going to be making our own personal koi ponds in front of us in our designated areas. Um, so the game comes with uh, what you see here, which is this central pond, which is actually like a neoprene mat in the actual production. Uh, and this is where you're going to be drafting your tiles from. So the types of tiles we have are koi tiles and feature tiles. Mm -hmm. um, feature tiles are what actually score you points. And the koi tiles are what gives those feature tile points. So for setup, uh, you just shuffle up all the feature tiles. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how many are used in each player count. And then uh, for the koi tiles, you're going to determine how many players you have. And because we have four players, we're going to use all of them. But if you were only playing with three players, for example, you would take out all of these fish that have the four stones mm -hmm. in the corner. Um, and if you're only playing with two, you'd remove the fish with three or four stones. Yeah. So I'll just go ahead and put these in here. And shuffle those up. 
and then I take out five because of math. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm math. sure I can come up with some sort of like, oh, that's the uh, taxes or something. Some sort of <laughs> that's the but official core math. tax. If we're being if we're being honest. It's because of math. Yeah. <laughs> uh, those are, right. those are it, captured by the heron, and then you yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> there, yeah. Theme. Theme. Because well, well, my parents have problems with like the herons and their koi ponds. They put like a little net, you know. Sometimes they're oh. certain yeah. times of year. Whoops! Whoops! Started grabbing from the wrong ones there. Hang on. Oh. So you can tell where they go because the mm -hmm. the koi go where the koi <clears throat> shadows are, and the features go where the lily pads are. Yeah. Anytime I teach this game, I always tell people to think like a checkerboard. So yeah. you're never ever going to see two koi next to each other. They're always going right. to be one away. So it's it's a really this is a really easy game to teach. In fact, some friends of ours um, they they came over a couple of weeks ago and uh, they said it was so funny because we were talking about what game we were going to play tonight that night and they said you know we really like that game about the koi pond. It had been over a year they played the prototype with us it had been over a year since we had played that game and uh i was like speaking of we just received it like two days ago let's <laughs> oh, play hey. it's one of the cool. things it's one of the things i really appreciate about this game mm -hmm. when i first got it it's a very very easy game to teach mm -hmm. and to present yeah. and for folks to understand um but it's it's like that that where you get something that's really easy, but it has tons of depth and strategy. Yeah. So lots of planning. It's very easy. What do they say about uh, abstract games? It's easy to learn, hard to master. Mm -hmm. That's that's what's going on in this game, where it's a very easy game to understand. But we're figuring out, once you know how to play it, figuring out where to put your tiles to yeah. best utilize your victory point scoring is what is where the strategy comes in in this game. That's right. All right. Cool. So who's going to go first, you guys? So do you um, want to explain a little bit, Danny or Ryan or anybody, about what we're going to be doing with these tiles yep. and uh, how a turn, what yeah. a turn consists of? And Yeah, sure. You, yeah, you want me to jump in? Yeah. Sure. Go ahead, Danny. Okay. Uh, so once it's set up, uh, kind of like Ryan was saying, you're going, to be, you're going to be always thinking about the checkerboard, right? Just like it is here on the central pond, when you're adding them to your own pond, you're never going to have two koi touching each other and two features touching each other. It always has to alternate. And the reason for that is that every koi tile is going to trigger the features in different ways. Mm -hmm. So when you draft, you can take any two tiles you want as long as they are adjacent to each other, uh, which means you're always going to be getting a feature. You're always going to be getting a koi. So for example, I might, if I'm, the first player just take this one and grab this fish with it right so the first two that you put in your pond do need to be next to each other but on a future turn i can split up the two tiles that i take and put them uh anywhere that's legal in my pond just remembering that it has to alternate between uh koi tiles and feature tiles yeah um and then you're going to fill out your pond and at the end of the game, you're going to score points uh, based on all of these different features. And I guess I could just kind of explain the features as they come out, right? Yeah, yeah that would be okay. good. Yeah. So the ones that we have right here, uh, you've got these frogs. And frogs are looking to eat dragonflies. So each of the koi tiles are going to feature either dragonflies or babies or sometimes both. And the frogs are going to get one point mm -hmm. for every dragonfly that is adjacent to them. And so, for example, if this, if this frog and these three koi were in your pond, you would get one, two, three points for that frog. This one doesn't have any dragonflies, so it's not supplying points. Mm -hmm. Turtles are awesome. They're just five points. They don't care what color fish they're next to or where they're at. They just are worth five points. Uh, for statues, you want to completely surround them with koi tiles, just like yeah. this statue is here in the central pond. So this one would be worth 10 points because you have koi on all sides. It doesn't matter what color they are. Um, it just needs to be surrounded. Whereas mm -hmm. if this was, if this is what it looked like in your pond, you would only get three points since you have one, two koi tiles next to it. That's three points instead of having four, which is 10. 
And then I always, uh, go ahead. I always, me- I always mess myself up, and I put those. Uh, I put those structures out on the outside and I'm like, the oh corner. man, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to miss all those points. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the yeah. solid color flowers like we have here are going to feature one of the four colors. And what you're going to want to do with these is it's going to give you two points for every koi that's next to it that has white. So this one counts because it's white and yellow. These ones are just solid colors, but if you can get fish that have at least one of their colors white uh, next to this, it's going to be two points. If you completely surround it with fish that have white, you get 12 points instead, so it's a little bit of a bonus. Uh, and then lastly, since we're looking at them here, whenever you take a solid colored fish, like this solid red one or this solid black one, at the end of the game, you're also going to get one point for every one of these coins. And uh, really the reason for that is because these are solid colored fish, they're a little bit more of a gamble, let's say, because they're less versatile, right? This is mm-hmm. only going to work for red, while this guy's going to work for red or white. Uh, right. Yeah, and then I guess we'll just explain the other ones as they come up, if that's cool. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Okay. Do we have someone who wants to start? Uh, I want to start with Ryan. You're kind of the one in the top right-hand corner, so we can just get sure. them over. Sure. sure. Yep. Uh, let's see. I want to take... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to put this this guy right here, and I'm going to take this one right here. I'm going to start off with those structures. Uh, maybe I can do something with it. So. And these will leak out. So this feature would move here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the movement the movement of the here. central board is really unique because it it kind of shifts up uh it kind of like shuffles <clears throat> around what is available and it <clears throat> makes things it makes different pairs on so the best way yeah. that it, when i first met andrew um up and uh, talked about this with him and, and christy the best way that he described this and it was really it was really interesting visual it helped with visual visualization i can't talk is um just imagine the center of the board um, kind of like a hill, and everything leaks down from the center. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, yeah, the, you're always, you're, you're, you always populate the middle two, so there's never yep. so the, the middle two are always going to be fresh. Yeah. So you just whatever, however the hole gets created, or in some cases two holes, you just mm-hmm. take the two in the middle, fill those spots in the checkerboard, drop two more in the middle. Yep. 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 Uh, this new one that just came out is a dual flower, and so this one has a red and a black flower. So like the single flower, it's looking for either of those colors, which is actually, this is actually a pretty good example where it's plopped right now. Yeah. So you're going yeah. to get two, you're going to get two points for every koi that is red or black. So each of these koi would actually contribute points. However, if you can get the koi that is red and black, it's worth three points instead. So you really want to chase the ones that match that exactly. Yeah. Um, that being said, I'm going to get a frog with some dragonflies. So there we go. And then only the one would slide out because only one was missing. Mm-hmm. And then these come in. I've got a couple camera presets, so we're going to look at the wider board um, and then kind of zoom in on pond, different ponds as we go. So. <clears throat> hmm. So Chad's taking the white koi and the white flower. What kind of flower is that, Danny? Oh, man. That I should probably know. Is that 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 a water lily? I think they are, but like, um, yeah, it's got to be some sort of water lily if it's growing up. You're like, I just illustrate it. I'm not (laughs) a scientist. Yeah, you know what? I don't don't think if if you go deep down and look for these, I kind of had to exaggerate on the flowers to make sure that they looked like the okay. fish that they were matching. So there we go. Yeah. yeah. Although it is yeah. worth pointing out because since we haven't, there is a proper name for so the name of the game is Kohaku, which is uh, a, technically the proper name for a fish for a koi fish that is red and white. So this red and white fish mm-hmm. here, uh, which is on the cover as well, that is the Kohaku koi. That's that's right. Is. Uh, I'm remembering now, Chad, that when we played this, we did a live stream of the prototype 
um, while it was on Kickstarter. You came down to Columbus and played at our house. And I had uh, Koi trivia or Koi facts lined up on my phone that I was reading off. Do you remember <laughs> that? Yeah. Well, I think Andrew drove down with me. We both drove down. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Both yeah. well, you and Andrew came down. Yep. yep. Which for those great. those that are watching, so I, I'm in Atlanta, I'm, uh, and so is Andrew uh, mm -hmm. Andrew Smith from Gold Soul Games. Uh, Ryan and Bob are in Columbus, which is about, mm -hmm. about I guess it probably takes about 45 minutes to an hour, I suppose, roughly, yeah. you know, to get from downtown to where y'all are at. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and take and I'm these. way over in Reno, Nevada. You're yeah, in Nevada. It, yours is more of an hour and a half, two-hour drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm back in time right now. It's right. only five five thirty here. Nice. I'm glad to see in, in three hours the world still exists. So yeah, <laughs> this is how time and space works, as far as I understand. <laughs> That's right. So I, I went ahead and took a turtle and that white and black uh, koi right there. I'm trying to surround that. Uh, I'm trying to surround the. What do you call that? That structure. Um, this right here. So that I can uh, get some points. Statue. Yeah, the statue. Uh, in the final game, I love, uh, Danny, that you have different illustrations for the different statues. Uh, there are a couple different types instead of just having one, uh, one type of structure. Love the different shapes that you included. Thanks. Yeah, and that was that was really something that came through from Andrew over at Goldsill. We mm -hmm. we made sure to have there's so there's two different frogs, there's two different turtles, two different statues, and I think there's two varieties of the rocks as well. Mm -hmm. Which which speaking of the rocks, I don't think we've had those yet. Um, those work a lot like the frog, except instead of looking for dragonflies, they're looking for babies, um, yeah. and that's because babies like to hide in rocks. Oh. That's when uh, when our children were babies, they liked to hide yeah. rocks. It was very weird. <laughs> the less fun reason is because some of the adult koi will eat the babies if they don't hide in rocks. Oh, but, you know, that's not, oh, as, uh, that's not uh, as fun. That's not, that's, we don't want to know that. That's uh, yeah, well, koi hashtag facts. sad you're fish the, facts. Yeah, you're the sad one that was facts. making me, you're quizzing me on facts. There we go. <laughs> so we've got a couple comments. Uh, we've got Rick, of course, uh, our our resident heckler at One Board Family. <laughs> go, Bob. Beat Ryan. So I'm gonna try. I'm yep. gonna try, Rick. And then uh, Kirk mentions my copy of Kahaku is in the mail. Love playing it at Tantrum Con. So. Hey, Kirk. That's a that's a long way in the mail. Kirk's on the other side of the planet. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, it will be a good day when you get it. Oh, I was man. I was so happy. Yeah. Mine was in the last. Uh, mine was in that last little shipping. Uh, yep. Uh, Same here. Shipment. Then we got it. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. So Rick said, "Chad, uh, Chad Elkins leaves Atlanta to get away from me. To go hang out with Bob and Ryan. This and is true. That definitely hurts my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> it's true." <laughs> Rick's being sad right now, watching Golden Girls and not playing games with us. Sad Rick. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Sad Rick. <laughs> hashtag Koi Facts. Hashtag Sad Rick. Sad Rick. That fish is black and red. I will take more Koi Facts. Why are you taking that fish? Because you know and I need that. Uh, <laughs> the dark because... mall fish. There is a That's little bit of hate drafting at times. Combo. Oh yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not super prevalent, no. Um, as it is with some other games, most of the hate drafting in this is uh, accidental. Yep. Until you realize it, then you're like, "Ha ha, yes!" Accidental hate. It's my accidental favorite type. Hate draft. It is. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you purposely try to play your game, just hate drafting the player after you, you will probably score very badly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes. I don't even need uh, the yellow, but you do, so I'm taking it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take these rocks right here, and I'm going to take these sweet babies right there so that they can hang out in the rocks. So let's see here. Where am I going to put these rocks? Oh, there's some babies over here. Let's do that. Danny, were you at um, were PAX at. Unplugged in 2019, I think? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah, I think I taught you and Steve Aramini Chocolate Factory. Yeah, you totally did. That's right. right. I, th I thought I, I remembered really, I don't you. I think you really knew who each other were at that point. 
Yeah, I thought I remembered you being there, but I couldn't quite. I was like, I think that was Danny. That was yeah. hanging out with Steve. That's when I, I did the... you, um, I, I, I speed taught Chocolate Factory as fast as I could. <laughs> it worked. It worked. Nice. It's a fun game, too. Yeah, yeah, it was, that was a fun game. We've got a couple hashtags if you're watching. Hate drafting, mm. sad fish facts, green <laughs> gutties. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, use those man. use those hashtags share this video like it you know like what if you're watching this on well, if you're bye. watching us on uh youtube subscribe to our youtube channel uh we'd greatly appreciate it we want to we want to hit that thousand we're so close to a thousand so. are you getting yeah, close yeah, yeah. i thought y'all were like we're been there. 50 we're something like, uh, yeah yeah somewhere around there so. I'll just go create 150 new uh, accounts. With nice. <laughs> I ran out of emails. Uh, <laughs> like Chad12345 at Gmail. Chad12345 at Gmail. <laughs> I wonder if Chad12346 is the same as Chad12345. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of them hates this game. The other one loves it. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Why are you getting so many thumbs down on everything? <laughs> Oh man! All right, let's see. Uh, the the oh. butterflies here are new, mm -hmm. and the way the butterflies work is that they actually look for the entire the entire length and width of your pond. So they'll look in all directions, and depending on what color they are, they're going to look for koi that have that color. So mm -hmm. these butterflies here would look for every koi it could see, like as far as your pond stretched in the four directions. You get two points for every koi that had black fish. i will i will tell you butterflies are are my the bane of my existence at times because i feel yes. like they are the ones that make me thank you chad stretch my pond out now yep they're, they're challenging you score some good points though they do uh, i they do will work. take yeah. that so rick That's says danny divine was also a guest that. judge on will it game episode 31 which apparently That's right ryan forgot about <laughs> no, I did not fit. Danny was a, a guest judge so, so, on Will It Game. Here's yep. the question, though. Who won between you and Rick on that episode? Mm. Does Danny remember? I don't know. Do you remember the topic, Danny? Hmm. I'm trying to remember that. I want Putting to... Danny on the spot. This is like... Yeah. <laughs> I know. I kind of remember. I'm memorable. trying to remember. I feel like it was some sort of... It was like a game about... It, wasn't it, a, it was something about food, I thought. He's like, coincidentally, this was a game about making koi fish games, and then I went and made one. So thanks for the idea, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's, funny. <laughs> That's funny. Well, this wasn't actually, this actually wasn't originally about koi, was it, Danny? No. I, no, I originally so. it, was about, it was about pumpkins and a pumpkin patch. Yes, I remember it was, that. It was very spooky looking. and hmm. um, Yeah, it didn't really, it worked. They do the work. It was a lot of a lot of the same mechanics were here, but it didn't really match the theme. And uh, it was I, I give the credit to Ryan Sanders for reminding me that I mentioned previously that I wanted to make a game about koi ponds, and he's like, well, "This game would be perfect for it." Nice. And I hemmed and hawed over it because I was getting some good feedback on my spooky pumpkin art, but uh, it I really did. It really does on. fit this koi theme so much better, and it it helped it helped the game evolve to its final state for sure. Awesome. So I don't know. I don't know if it was actually mentioned. I know we talked about Danny being the designer of the game, but mm -hmm. Danny also illustrated uh, this game as well. So he's uh, absolutely, yeah, which is fantastic. Lots of skill. That he's I wish a triple I had. threat. <laughs> What's the triple? <laughs> Pod, I'm also podcast handsome. Podcast guest. Podcast oh, guest. Podcast guest. <laughs> Qu quadruple threat. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Daddy. So. No worries. Is it is it over to me? It is. It is. I had issue. Okay. Yes. It is. All right. Yeah, I so I took a uh, turtle and uh, a koi with some some flies around it. Dragonflies, not regular flies. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a dead koi. <laughs> That's a, a weird promo it. tile. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> weird promo tile is a dead koi and it has flies around it. Has it has flies like, on oh, it. Like no. weird. Weird. It's the Halloween Halloween promo tile that they included. But, yeah, yeah, but I'll roll with it. Okay. Oh, uh, Rick, Wick, yeah, Rick is nice. obviously looking back into the archives. 
he won with fast food menu over too many chilies. Oh crap! Fast I food. forgot about okay. I forgot about too many chilies. That was actually a game that I want to do. That that's one that of one of those Willy games that you actually want to create. Yeah, that's actually a pitch that I actually really thought would make a good game. It was a uh, it was a small deck. I think I said an eighteen card deck, but it it, it was going to be more like thirty or under. But it was uh, it, it was you were trying to use chilies to spice up people's um, dishes. I think I remember that kinda, actually. Yeah, you kind of had to call it like when you <laughs> thought it was at the right. It, it was this um, yeah. blind. You were laying down I the. Do cards. remember that? Yeah, it was you one called that me I, about that and tried yeah. to hash the mechanics out. I remember that. <laughs> uh, so, uh oh, hold on. So you were Let's calling Bob in advance of your Will It game shows? No, no. I think this was. No, oh, this, this is like after. a hashtag scandal. This was. <laughs> That's right. That's no, this right. was after the yeah. fact. After Ryan was like, you know what? Mm-hmm. I really want to make this into a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. What do we got here? Okay. I'm I looking feel like for I that. feel like we know some publishing people that could. Help. Yeah, we probably know some publishers. With too many chilies somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> too many chilies. The that. game that I created while laying there five minutes before. <laughs> before the. The uh, podcast. Recording a podcast. Uh, I don't really don't want those yellow features. I'm just gonna have to take this. Red. Oh, hold it. We're missing a. We're missing a cool. Oh, okay. nope, that's you the fish I thought. Yep. Okay. All right. So you okay. go here, and you. All right. Uh, so it's my turn. I need. So what do I need, folks? Here. Let's, let's take a. Let's take a koi pond moment. Yeah, I guess. Koi Pond moment with Ryan Gatowski. <laughs> hmm. hmm. New segment on the show. Let's see what we need here. I need I've a, kind I of <clears throat> pigeonholed myself into a a non variable pond. Hmm. Um, so I feel oh, as though. Yeah, oh, I, I mean, I it looks do. like we've all. Chad's definitely done it. Hmm. I know what although, I can do. Yeah, that black feature oh, no. works well on those black and white fish, one, I guess. And I'll pull another structure, another Man. one of these. He took the one I wanted and the one Chad wanted at the same time. <laughs> oh, you took, you took the red and the black one again? Why? Yeah, we're running out of them. Yeah, why? Oh, uh, oh there, you there you go, Chad. There you go, Chad. I just put all my camera <laughs> settings. Chad. Chad wants uh Chad wants that feature right there. Yeah, but that <laughs> I don't think I want him to have it. Since I well, don't get what good, I want. Danny. Go ahead Chad and hate draft. Why why you hate drafted in the Koi game? This is Zen, Danny. Zen time. <laughs> well last last time I lost, you gave away my royalties, so I don't want to lose again. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you shouldn't make bets that you can't keep. I mean, that's the thing. Sure. You shouldn't Fair write enough. checks that your mouth can't cash. <laughs> that your, that your koi pond can't cash. <laughs> did you take it? Dude. I did. He did. He did. Oh. I wasn't kidding. I, it fit pretty well for me. <laughs> <He> wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't joking about that feature, man. I wasn't man. playing. <laughs> oh, let's see. I reset all my cameras. Sorry. I, I deleted all my cameras. Way to go. And, yeah. Okay. Camera presets. Well, maybe not very good at tabletop simulator. So they is anybody? Drive. I'm sorry. Is anybody? No. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm a tabletop simulator whiz. I know all the shortcuts. Somebody's making. Somebody's making webinars about tabletop simulator at this point. Yeah, I bet you they are. Yeah. It's not that bad of an idea. It's not, but I don't know enough to actually run one. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not teaching that class. I can tell you that. Yeah, no. <laughs> See the shuffle button. Most of the time it works, but sometimes yeah. it doesn't work. You guys know about WASD? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I told uh, Aaron. So Aaron played a game with you all uh, last week. And uh, she was trying to figure out just before we went live, she was trying to uh, scroll around. And I was just, I said, just use WASD. And she looked at me like, 
what? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry. WASD. Um, do I want that red fish? I'm so sorry. Do. Turn. I think. I think it's your. It's Bob. it's I mine. I, I just went. Yeah, that's so Bob. I'm just trying to decide which feature out of here that I want. Got a lot of red. So let's do a. Uh, I feel like let's I should... do a pawn check in. So okay, I'm gonna go with close this. up on Danny's pawn right here. Looking good. I think Danny. I can make this fish. Yeah, I can. This is the best bet. All right, so this is gonna go here. And this is going to go here. I ruined the right side of this red feature, but that's okay. I have a little diversity in my pond now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm needing... Uh, hmm. I don't know what I need. I don't... I'm not really going... Um, you know what? You don't have a lot, and Ryan. You don't have a lot of features that are asking for specific color fish. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, you don't have think, any. No, no, you don't. I think I'm going to go ahead and commit to this. Uh, commit to this red. You need to be looking red for babies, situation. bro. Yeah. All right. So. All right. Let's and you got those big got. old turtles. Yeah, man. When those turtles come out, you can't ignore them. It's ten points. It's ten points right there. Look at this turtle right there. He's just sunning himself. He's like, what's up? <laughs> I love turtles. Check out check out my shell. <laughs> turtles are cool. They are. Mm. Except for the salmonella that they're going to give you. Womp womp. Did they do that? What? Yeah. Yeah, sad Is turtle facts. Yeah. Oh, there. Sad turtle facts. <laughs> So that's why, do, why do I feel like we're on the lamest National Geographic program of all time? Yeah. It's what the is, worst. What is yeah. the turtles and salmonella? So if you eat them raw, do you, I mean, which you should no, be doing anyway. No, you can you can get salmonella from touching the turtle. Um, okay, and yeah. then like not washing your hands and like yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you okay. guys want to hear a turtle story? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> my family, my brother had a tiny turtle when we were growing up. We called him Turdy. That's a terrible name. That's yeah. a terrible name. So that was <laughs> that I, super creative. I know. But my mom <laughs> put a turtle out in a, uh, he was in a little oh, terrarium no. setup and he put him out, put him out to get some sun. Yeah. Oh, totally forgot about it. Oh. That Joker was so small and he baked. Oh, he was, no. Uh, yeah. The shell, you could rattle it around. It was disgusting. Oh my goodness. Dude, what did you do? Uh, no. I'm poor so sorry. Hashtag uh, poor turtle turdy. myrtle. <laughs> turtle turtle murder. Turtle myrtle. Oh man. Uh, this is Rick said Rick said can you play spa music in the background so that we really get that Zen experience? Not they, after those stories. No, we're talking is, about is, is there any chance murder. that your mom's the shredder? <laughs> oh, oh, nice! That's what dude. it was. That's what nice. it was. Wow, that's that's what Ryan's mean. mom is shredder. <laughs> yes. She yeah. was trying to take him out while they were uh, young, before they hit the teenage stage, yeah, exactly. or at least a member right. of the Foot Clan. Yeah, it's like it's like yeah. Terminator meets like Team and T. They're going back in Ooh. time yeah, before they get back there. in time. Uh, yep. Chad, is it on you? It is my go. turn. It's my turn, okay, but cool. I'm not trying to figure it out because you guys took all my stuff. Yeah, no, no. I'm just making sure I'm not supposed to be doing anything right now. Yeah. Uh, let's let's do a little. Uh, let's do a koi pond check in on Bob over here. Let's look. Let's look at Bob's koi. Mm, looking wealthy. Yeah, I just got into that yellow game because there was a lot of there's yeah, a lot of yellow yeah. on the board. So I was like, you know what? Let's get into that yellow game. See yeah. if I can't maximize, uh, you know. That's what's up right there. All right. Um, now it's Bob's okay. turn. Ooh, oh, there's a red black. Hold on. Hold on. There's a red black. Well, you don't even need red black. You just need red or black. <laughs> well, it counts for both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And these butterflies are giving me massive points this way. They are. They are. Got six uh, I could right use there. a yellow black, though. Do we got yellow black on the board? I've only seen one. Oh, I guess there's two. You've got both of them. You got, yeah, yeah, I got both of them. I was hoping for another one. All right. Again, this is Kohaku. Uh, fantastic. 
that game. there. What you need to pick it up, self. It? They're beautiful. Yeah, I got to do it. I got to do it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. That way, and then this will give me... That was a six-point move. I got to do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, that's true. So, I don't need any more structures. I can't... Wow. Did you want yellow koi? Because that's what we got. Good. Yeah. No, yeah. I, got, yeah. I guess I'm taking yellow some game. yellow koi. Well, yeah, now I need yellow that's koi. a white game on lockdown, though, so there's some yellow there's whites so many in good there. ones that go with this one right here. There's three of them that go with that one exactly, but it's yeah, separated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's by itself over there. You can't... It sure is. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I oh, Okay, so let me, let me go ahead and do this one. I'm going to put that guy over with the babies, and then I'm going to put him. So this guy right here matching up with that rock, and then I'm going to put this one right here and get those yellow. There That's go. a good transition into the yellow game. Yeah, yep. yeah, not bad. It was a four-point move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Actually, feel pretty good about it. Actually, it was a... No, it's got three four, there. Five, six, seven-point move. Yep, I feel yeah. pretty good. My <clears throat> like um, pork because I made barbecue pork. Nice. Oh, nice! I'm, Mine smells like, like bacon. I'm still hungry because oh, did you make bacon? Yeah, we had pancakes Hopefully. and bacon for dinner. Oh, that's pretty good. I love dinner, breakfast, dinner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, breakfast or dinner is the best. Yep. Ryan's mom is shredder is trending on uh, nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> on nowhere. Literally nowhere. <laughs> Literally nowhere. No one's talking about it. Uh, no one is uh, Not even. Nope. Nowhere. Nowhere at all. Uh, maybe this would nope, be a nowhere. Kind of... Nope. So. Okay. When Rick can't join us, he's still the life of the party. <laughs> it's funny you say that, uh, too, Rick. I'm looking back through the comments. Um, because we did that one time. And this is a game that would actually call for something like that. Ryan and Aaron and I were playing. Um, it's Mark Spector's uh, game. What was the name of that game, Ryan? Oh, uh, Shikoku. Uh, was it Shikoku? No, no, not Shikoku. The one with the wind and the fire what, and Gorin Gorinto. Yeah. Gorinto. Yes. Gorinto. Yes. Yep. Uh, we were we Gorinto. Music. That's right. We played, and we played a playlist. I was like, you know what this game needs? It needs oh. thematic music. And we actually put some music on um, yeah. some, so I believe chill. it was some, some Japanese, very chill Japanese yeah. music. And I was like, yo, this is super chill, dude. Yeah. And yeah. like playing a game like this and doing something like that would completely mm -hmm. set it because this game makes you feel that way too. Absolutely. Very relaxing. Yeah. Um, every time I've played Kohaku, there's not mm -hmm. a, a whole lot of table banter. Everybody's just kind of relaxed and yeah. studying the board and just kind of like when you're done, it's like almost like you take that breath. Like you mm -hmm. come up like, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and we need more Zen games in our life anyway. It's That's like, right. Yeah. With as serious as everything is and like work and like being stuck is in it your back house. To me, Chad? And, uh, it is you, Bob. Yeah, I should go and like create so I, I started creating and i haven't done it for every game i need to go do mm -hmm. it but um so i created a spotify channel for 25th century games mm -hmm. and so oh nice so so different games have like different music to kind of go like a different oh, playlist yeah. you can like play with the games mm -hmm. so like their space explorers has a whole bunch of like 60s 50s 60s music and uh um, oh, nice Kingswood has like a you know kind of like orchestral you know kind of movie you know, mm -hmm. type stuff and as well as like some like Gaelic and you know, like some kind of like just kind of flutes and stuff. Okay. So I should, I should make a Kohaku one. I need to go do that. Yeah, that would be yeah, really you good. Should dude, you should. Uh, we've used your uh, playlist for I think it was uh, Christmas lights. Oh, the Christmas so. lights one's a good one. That's like yeah. there's a lot of great <laughs> Christmas music on there. Yeah, okay. yep. I have to do this. Um. Take that, and so I do have. I grabbed it. Fish. So this, I do have the copy of the physical, which you can see the spot UV shininess. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, it is very nice. My I copy is right. Here. If you've got it nearby, get get those tiles and hold them up. Get that yeah. camera on them. 
Oh man. I've got my copy right here. And I took that. I don't know if we um, explained this early on in the game, but the reason I took that red fish over there as opposed to this red and white is because of the coin in the corner. Yep. I don't know if we mentioned that. Um, yeah, earlier, Danny did. But... He mentioned okay, that. Okay, he did. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah, cool. single the, color the fish. Bonus points. So yes. I'm going to let's look at a little bit of product here. I'm going to close up on it. Uh, please don't mind my hair and beard. Um, this right here. <laughs> Yeah, um, dude, I was working in the yard, then helped somebody move. No, you can tell. <laughs> I know. So this is the mat. This is a neoprene mat. Feels really good. Double stitched. Yeah. Very that double very stitching, nice. man. Woo. Double stitched. And then but these that's a, are that's a Chad. Acrylic. That's a Chad move right there, though. That I do double, double, I do double stitch all the mats. Yep. Yeah. Yes, you do. Let's see. Can I get this thing to close up? I don't know. Focus. Uh, I don't know. There it there is. There you go. Look at that. There it is. Ooh, Look at that's that. Style. Beautiful right there. 3D, uh, 3D effect. Mm. Yeah. It's really nice. Acrylic yeah, tile. Glass. It's a good, it's a good weight too. So. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Rick, please don't mind my hair and beard. The name of Ryan's autobiography. <laughs> that is a hundred percent true. I think it's on you. <laughs> I think it's on you, right? <clears throat> Actually. I think the name of my autobiography would be, oh, it's in my beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Because the kids the kids will be like, Dad, you you literally have an entire French fry in there. <laughs> yeah. we'll to eat. And I'm like, oh, it's, it's fine. It's fine, guys. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I want to keep going red. Uh, I feel like, oh, man, there's... Uh, Oh, that's who I needed earlier. Okay, let's let's do this. All right, I'm committing to frog frog person over here, and then I'm going yellow with it. So froggy's going right here. Gonna lap up all those. Uh, oh yeah, delicious that's a five point drop right there. That's a good one. And then, then I'm gonna go ahead over with my fish. Yeah. Cool. There we go. I got a wide pond, <clears throat> people. Yeah, I've stayed uh, fairly compact. Yeah, yeah. So, hmm. mm -hmm. aesthetically, I like the look. The time. I was going to say aesthetically, I like the look of yours, Danny. Yeah, Danny yeah but is, uh, uh, point uh, wise, nice. okay, be, uh, point wise, yeah. My worst scores in a while. <laughs> Danny's yeah, like, no. mine looks really nice, but I've got five points. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, have so some. Was, you was, almost have some symmetry going on there. I do. Uh, well, it's because just... he's spent so much time hate drafting. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let's see here. <clears throat> it's true. Rick says Ryan's beard is a federally protected wildlife preserve. <laughs> Uh, there was about six months ago, a bird made a nest in there. <laughs> One thing led to another, you know. All right. Mm. Mm. Watch, watch me not surround these two structures. Do you guys see these two structures <laughs> after, I have over here? Yeah, after yeah. I I told you my weakness, watch me not surround them like an idiot. I can do this. I like so take that one. Take that one. Turtle time. Okay, that was you, right, Chad? Yeah, I just went. You're up. That turtle is tempting. They are good for the edges of your pond. Yeah. You, don't have to, you don't have to worry about surrounding them, so they're good yeah. just to kind of cap off an end. Meanwhile, the Let's center see. of my pond is a turtle. Which Everything is revolves not, around not the best <laughs> placement for a turtle. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Ugh. He's the main attraction. Okay. Let's do Danny, did you ever think about doing a uh doing some sort of like um 
I don't know how it work or if it would do think of uh, specific goals. We somebody has a goal goal card, you know, um, you can call it the team and T goal card. If you collect four turtles in your pond, yeah. double the points or something. Expand, you're giving away expansion ideas, Brian. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> there, yeah, there is. Yeah. We are, we are working on um, expansion ideas and yeah. Oh, goal, like goal cards for sure is a, uh, something we're going to toy around with. Okay. Nice. But you're right. I, I like, I like that. I did not think of the Ninja Turtles one there. That's funny. Oh, Have well, at uh, least four turtles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, funny. I am hireable. I work for candy bars <laughs> and uh, okay. Nice. And, and in this case, salmonella. Beard bomb. Be, yeah. 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 <laughs> you don't let Told any vine near any of your turtles, Danny. <laughs> Do well, you, just, you, you just don't let Ryan's mom near any of the turtles. That's, That's true. Yeah. That's true. Oh man, I think I'm going to. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. Um, I'm afraid of getting more turtles because you guys are going to judge me. You know what? <laughs> you know <laughs> what? Here, it's fine. I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking uh, the one showing off his back over here. Yeah, we're gonna hang, hang out. Let me move this there. Where am I putting him? I don't even know where to put him. Oh, there we go. This guy right there. Mm. All right. That's good. We're going to go here. Get into the red game. Why are you doing why nice why red you, there? Why are you doing that? You, you saw yeah, me just the after, game. Just after <laughs> Chad jumps into it. Yeah. Well, we're all, we, we were all following each other. Like, we... There you go. I think Bob and I were both competing for any fish that had black, and then you happen yep. to have white yep. and black, and it wasn't, yeah. Rivalries. <laughs> oh, man. You threw out my idea. Let's see. So if I Rivalries. Grab fish gangs. That. Hold on. We got fish gangs going on? Fish gangs. Has anybody reported this? <laughs> <laughs> Um, fish crime taking syndicates. Taking the turtle. Yeah. Speaking like... of collecting things like turtles, I've been collecting micro machines recently. The new ones. I nice. saw so that awesome. actually. I didn't realize they had new micro machines. They are yeah, so they came out with new ones. cool. Yes. Really? <clears throat> I've uh, I've been like a kid in a toy store. Well, literally. Oh, like I know. A giant. T- Toddler, we, Ryan and I uh, accidentally met up <clears throat> last week at, <clears throat> excuse me, at Target, <clears throat> and uh, I was driving by as he was walking in, and I was coming to park to go in. So I screamed out the window yeah. at him. I walked up, and he's waiting for me. I said, "What are you here for?" It's like micro machines. Like, what are you here for? I said, "Baseball cards." <laughs> I was like, you're 40 and I'm 40, right? We're 40? <laughs> we're almost we're almost 40, Bob. Let's not let's not age ourselves a couple months ahead. This is I the mean, same yeah. conversation that, that 12 year old Bob and 12 year old Ryan had yeah, right? at the same target. <laughs> you getting those new micro machines, here? Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man. man. <laughs> and then it's, it's really it's, bad. Uh oh, whose turn is it? Is it my uh, turn? I think I just went. Uh, <clears> it's on me. Yep. It's on me. And then it's real bad because Jason Katorski from uh, Green Couch Games, mm. he let me know that Gaslands, people are doing micro Gaslands, which, do you guys know anything about Gaslands? Yes. What? No. So it's no, like a Hot Wheels. It's like a Hot Wheels based uh, like Mad, Max Mad Max style RPG. Yeah. Using, using cars that you mod. You just mod yeah. cars. Just take oh. old Hot Wheels and glue right. like like guns on them now, and like not max them yeah. out yeah mm-hmm. yep. yep and so now, now there's an entire group that's started just because of micro machines coming back and so they're modding out micro machines to make gas line cars and they're doing a micro gas lands <laughs> basically they just size everything down 50 percent right and uh use the same templates so oh. it's based it's based off of it's similar to the x-wing uh game Interesting. So. Well, I mean, like now, like in the world of three D printing, you can go print whatever you want to in that. Exactly. 
Yeah. Now and so now I'm worried I'm going to get addicted to something like that now. So that, I don't need any more hobbies. Like I really don't. I know. <laughs> really. here. My wife would here. absolutely but, say Chad doesn't need any more hobbies. Chad, you're done with the hobbies. Yeah. No more. You hobbies. don't need any. More. It's, it's a, if one comes in, one, one must go out. That's uh, Mike. That's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. um, Dan, Danny, did you go, or is it Ryan? No, it's my turn. I think I'm taking this yellow, and I think the frog. One, two, three, four. It's yeah, I think very easy it. to develop extra hobbies in the midst of a global, you know, yeah. shut shut down. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so uh, let's all share a hobby that we failed at during the pandemic. I tried bonsai trees. Yeah, did you I really? Jack, yeah, did you I really? That. I did. I did. I don't know why I that's so funny. But that is so funny. That. <laughs> because Ryan is so huge and thinking about his ginormous hands is cutting a little tiny baby tree. <laughs> yeah. Not going to lie. I got real pumped about bonsai trees last summer. <laughs> Were they and really bonsai trees or were they small bushes? <laughs> one, <laughs> one was a bonsai tree. One was a small bush that I made into a bonsai tree. <laughs> it was like bonsai on a budget. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Uh, so, bonsai trees. I didn't expect what? that one. So that was the, that was the one I failed um during the pandemic so because <laughs> it's very difficult being the adult in the group all the time it's a heavy burden out here. that's true so, <laughs> because, so has anybody else failed at any uh oh. any uh hobbies or extra curriculars during the pandemic i, I haven't I mean, tried anything new that's the thing i like, just yeah. trying to keep up with my current ones i guess I, mine <laughs> is uh you know i i got back into i reignited a childhood You've been uh, your pack hobby. busting, yeah. So I've been doing a lot of um, yeah. trading cards, so baseball, football cards, and non -tra non sport trading cards as sure. well. So like uh, Marvel and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and old movie cards from like the eighties and nineties. Well, right. it's hard to fail at something like that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, it's I, pretty hard to fail at, I guess. Well, yeah. I, you know what? The failing part is the money disappearing out of my wallet. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> because it's that, not a cheap hobby anymore no. <laughs> it is not i need to uh i need to pick another hobby that i can't fail at because i'm not gonna lie i had one of those bonsai trees i couldn't look at it anymore so i just kind of hid it away and aaron was like do you want me to be the one who throws it away and i was like <laughs> i was like actually it would make me feel a lot better if i didn't have to do it and so yeah. she did. So, <laughs> fell here like with tiny topiaries. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Rick. Oh, oh. man. Who's uh, whose turn is it? Is I, it I, 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 I just went. I just went. Okay, to I I okay then back to me. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Um, I haven't failed at it yet, but this week I started writing short stories. Like, a, I wanted, for some reason, I wanted to make like a short horror story so i've been writing that oh wow nice but i've never, nice. never really been a writer so okay yeah we'll see you can talk to me next time be like hey danny have that short story going i'll be like how's that yeah. writing <laughs> <laughs> no. okay so so we're sitting here talking about tiny topiaries danny you didn't even mention the fact that you designed a game tempted. called topiary <laughs> yes exactly right. it's, it's called being humble <laughs> yeah, he's like, look at how humble I am. I had to text I message Ryan topiary, and tell him. Like... <laughs> I had to text... like, you would have never thought you would have had that lead text in. message it's Ryan. To... I know you didn't yeah, do it, right? What a lead in! What an accidental lead yeah. in! Yeah. Like I did design a game called Topiary, which is also a tile placement game. Um, yep. and it's where the uh, inspiration for the butterflies mechanic came from. It's kind of a nod really? to that. It's the whole game for Topiary is like line of sight. Oh, okay. So that's okay. where the that's, that's where really the butterflies cool. came from. Look at that. It's nice. Yeah. It is on you, Ryan. It is me. Okay. Oh, I am yeah. going. Well, I would say you stole that mechanic, but then again, you created it on the other game. <laughs> <laughs> stole it from yourself. <laughs> and this this um, design was actually. Um, was started because the publisher, or I guess not the publisher, but 
the feedback I started getting from Topiary, because when I played Topiary, it was very zen and relaxful, which is why I went with the theme of gardening. But then I found out later, once I watched other people play it, that they play it really mean and cutthroat. Oh, geez. Mm. So, so my response was like, well, that wasn't supposed to be mean, but I guess it is, <laughs> and it works. So then this was my re- this this mechanic was my response to like how do I make a tile placement game that's not mean? You can't be mean. No. Yeah, but but yet we're finding a way. I keep upsetting Chad every time I take a tile. So. <laughs> All right, so I'm building this little baby pond down on the bottom. So now I got to move my pond up. I just moved it down. Right. There you go. Game is beautiful on the table, by the way. Ed, you yeah, saw my. Uh, Did you just go? Uh, yes, I went. Yeah, it's on you, Dan. Yeah, on me. Chad, you saw my picture of my dog Sam looking at those delicious koi. <laughs> so. yeah, that was great. Yeah, I love that picture. Yeah. <laughs> He's just hanging out. He was. He was like, yeah. "Are we gonna play? Are we playing?" So, so we're actually getting really close. We were. Out, we pretty much had going to finish this round, and then we got one more round. So okay. we each get two more. Okay, so make it count is what you're saying. Yeah, right. Well. So if you got any solid flowers that need a fourth, this would be the time to get them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a funny feeling I'm not going to complete one of my uh, one of my cause, structures. Because six to 12 is a big jump. That's, like That's a, a huge gap. Yes. And I, and I always <laughs> I always forget to do it. Closing out the solid flowers is like the best move you can make yeah. usually. Mm-hmm. I have only two solid mm. flowers closed out. Maybe oh, I'm gonna close on. another one. We'll see. I have to. I that. have to close one of these structures because I I talked about how I'm that's my that. downfall, and I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'm. I'm in trouble this game. Let's see what happens. I may beat Danny for the first time ever. I think you oh, might. Nice. It's gonna be fun. Check in, check in on Danny's pond here. Everybody, check it out. Danny's pond is in trouble. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh my goodness, Danny! You just went like straight up and down. I did. It all stemmed from this this little corner up here that just uh, has not had the right fish for it. Yeah. At least you have your stone features completely. Yeah, surrounded. those are all. Those are all. Those are all done. Yeah. Unlike Ryan, <laughs> got two open stone features and two turns to go. So. Ooh, thank you, Chad. Okay, let me just let me just make sure uh, that I need that fish. Speaking of yes. dogs, I hear Ryan's yes. dog. Yes. I know the yes. jingling. Boom, and. This right here. Okay, I don't know where that black flower is gonna go. Isn't it weird how how sounds that you get used to just are kind of part of your lifestyle? When our dog <laughs> our dog had to, uh, he stayed in a um, uh, a little dog place for uh, doggy dog daycare, place. a doggy daycare <laughs> thing. Yeah, dog. for for a day when we came back from vacation, and. Um, Man, it was so weird not hearing the jingle. We're like, mm-hmm. why it's eerie, is the house it's like so eerie quiet? quiet. Yeah. Ugh, yeah. It's unsettling. Yep. Okay. Do I go? Oh, man. Yeah, that happens uh, all the time where we take the dog to the vet for a day mm-hmm. stay to get yeah. like checkups and baths and all that mm-hmm. stuff. So he goes for a full day stay and then I'll be walking around the house and I'll be like, hey, bud, where you at? And I'll be like, <laughs> yeah. oh, wait, he's Crap. not here. <laughs> Do I do that? No, that's not going to work out. I don't know what to do. Um, that's not going to get me enough points. You know what? One, two, three. Yep, that's the way to go. So I'm doing this one, and I'm doing the frog, and I'm going to put these. Let's see. I'm going to put these two over here. I'm going to complete at least one of these stone structures. Just one. There we go. Hmm. I'm glad that these things connect, uh, click into a grid on tabletop simulator because <clears throat> yeah, the, I would, uh, I would the snap, lose my mind. Yeah, the mm-hmm. snap uh, snaps are really nice. Whoever put this on, did, did Chad, did you put this on TTS yourself? No, Andrew built this one. Oh, Andrew, nice, yeah, nice job, Andrew. Yeah, good snaps.
Rick asked if putting my bonsai, my dead bonsai trees next to <laughs> those stone features, would they be worth any points? Rick, they're dead. They're two dead bonsai trees. They would lose points. I, yeah. <laughs> it makes uh, fish uh, sad. Yeah. <clears throat> the fish, the fish press. Yeah. <laughs> I will tell you, I, I have everything that I need to try again. I don't know if I have the nerve to try again. So, <laughs> the bonsai thing. <laughs> it's really sad. There's a place down in, um, you may have seen it, Ryan, because you've been to uh, PCB for a vacation mm -hmm. probably, right? Yeah, so one of those places. Uh, it's Do you know the place the I'm talking about? Yep, I stopped yep. off there. I got <clears throat> one of the two trees I got was from there. Yep. Oh, was it really? Yeah. Nice. We we stop there every once in a while when we're on our way to Panama City. It's Beach. really cool. And they have amazing. That stuff. place is nuts, dude. Yeah. That those is. bonds. Are, some of those bonds are trees are like a like more than a thousand dollars, dude. Yep. Yep. Wow. Like, so. but they are like ex like exquisite, dude. They are like they are. multi level moss rock covered trees coming out from each side. I mean, it looks like a small village. Yeah, some of those yeah. like bonsai displays, dude. We stop. We've, I've never That's bought amazing. one. We stopped there just to look at them. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're incredible. Uh, did you just go Chad? Yep. Okay. So this is, this All is the last. So he, yep. Bob gets the last pick. Okay. Let's see. It's going to be, Oh man. Okay, that's yeah, okay. So it has to be a yellow fish for sure. Which is fine. But which feature? That would get me two. Do I have a red and yellow? I don't. I do have Okay, so I see. Final what check on everybody's uh, board here. This is Danny's. And here. There we go. So this is going to go this Chad's Koi out. Pond right there. And this is going to go in the corner for four extra points. So that was a 10-point move. Boom. And then here okay. is Bob's mostly symmetrical. It's like Koi almost pond. perfectly, <laughs> perfectly yeah. Like yeah. rectangle. <laughs> yeah. He had to screw that one thing up. Yep. Yeah, mm. right. But I needed to close that yellow flower out. I had to put that that's, there. That's yeah. true. Yep. That's yep. True. Okay. So now we're going to calculate our points, right? Yeah, so normally oh, what yeah. we would do is, like, if you lose on the board, so the game does come with um, color fish, you know, koi yes. for your scoring. So you would mm -hmm. normally take both of those, you know, and kind of put them off the side, and then you'd have one fish that works for the one through nine, and then the other one is your scoring point, which would move up. Yep. But since we're in TTS, we have little digital counters, and we can just do it that way. There we go. Yeah. That'll work. So, and the easiest way to calculate this giant board or pond is to go feature by feature from yep. line by line. Yeah, top yep. to bottom, left to right. It's usually kind of the easiest way to go about doing it. Yep. 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 All right. Crazy. So that's four points for my <clears throat> uh, one. wonderful four. points for this. Frog, three, four, five. This is the most exciting part of the live stream. Is where everybody <laughs> yeah. watches. Everyone gets really quiet and clicks a number. <laughs> yeah. Everybody watches us click counters. My five point turtles. It's a six. Man, I wish I had been able to close that out. One. But it is what it is. I think this one is closed. Boom, boom, boom. Yup. So it's 38. Okay. Bang. Then turtle for okay. five. So, man, this is a massive butterfly. Uh, let's see. One. Two, I did not do well on my butterflies, but I'm doing well on my five. babies here. Three, six, okay. nine. 11. Okay. Let's see. This, this is feature out. was closed. Okay. Let's see. Two. Oh, five, man, that one, that's yellow eight, and black. 
It's three, six, nine. Five. Eleven. That's not horrible. Six. One. Four. Then I'm going back through and I'm counting my... And don't forget the gold coins once one, you get through everything. Yep. Two. Three. I always hit my gold coins last. Yep. All right. Got my score. Big 82. old 83 or tiny 83. Holy crap. I did terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. So. <laughs> Big old eight. Oh, geez, I lost. <laughs> I've never broken a hundred. I got really close this time. Really? This is the, this is the first time I haven't really? broken a hundred on these Look. live streams you've been doing. That's true. Well done, though. Yeah. Okay. There oh, we go. See. Oh, oh what'd you get? 92. Yeah. Even you Bobby. Beat me by one. <laughs> wow. Bobby wow. Wow. Good job. Wow, I did really poorly. <laughs> Simon wow. Simon says, go everyone else but Bob Kroll. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Thanks, so, Simon. Yeah, really. Uh, <laughs> let's see. What is my high score for this game? Uh, Sorry, I'm looking. Checking your, checking your BGG stats? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, actually, my high score is 144. But a I was going to say, ours... I've, scored, I've scored fairly high in Gohaku yeah. before, like over hundreds. Um, it's, tough, it's tougher to do in four players than it is. In I was gonna say, players. I think it was two yeah. and two and three player, not four. When your I pond, your pond is bigger by four tiles, I believe. If I remember mm, okay. Okay. It's a two player game. Yep. Math. Okay. Math. Lots yep. of math. Yeah. <laughs> math. Yeah. <laughs> Boring math facts. <laughs> but yeah, that math. was a tight. That was a tight yeah. game right there. Except for Ryan, yeah. but you know, except for, Ryan. <laughs> except, except for me because it was terrible. <laughs> So. Oh, man. Ryan's too distracted by his bonsai thoughts. His, bo <laughs> his bonsai <laughs> trees. Uh, it's not a lie. It's oh, not a lie. man. It was really sad. So, uh, yeah, so that's 97 for Chad winning the game. And then Bob's got 92. 92. Danny with 91. Danny's game. 91. Also, 91. Yeah. yeah. Game, gentlemen. So, oh, yeah. I love this game yeah. so much. Yeah, so, so good. good. So yeah. good. So, yeah, very cool. Well, guys, it was fun playing and hanging out with you. Uh, this was really nice. Um, a good, good end to the weekend. Um, so, I don't want the weekend to be over. Can we just play again? Yeah, yeah right. we'll just keep playing and then we'll <laughs> act like we don't have jobs. So. Yeah, right. As long as the window closed, then Monday never starts. <laughs> there we go. That's it, yeah. Danny. <laughs> you, you're you're a big thinker danny thank you so. you're welcome cool uh, very cool well uh chad where can and all the great games you all uh so yeah so you can you can find uh 25th century games you know all the the main social channels i don't do tiktok or anything because i don't have time for all that but you don't do tiktok and you're and you're uh, going home, so. <laughs> And I'm like, and I'm not, well, it's like it's like an adult thing now. It's not just like you know, sixteen yeah, year olds. But I guess so. I can see you doing the dances and stuff, Chad. No, you yeah. can't. Oh, There's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, a little shoulder shimmy. That, it, surprisingly, <laughs> that, a lot of publishers like doing stuff on there, and it like all looks great. It's just I'm like, oh, I ain't got time. It's know? more stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, for all the main ones, right? For the old old geezers, you know, the, their you know, OGs, you know, Facebook, Twitter, you know, Instagram. You know, YouTube, yeah. we're all on there. And obviously, 25thCenturyGames.com. And uh, you can find Kohaku. It came out, um, I think it's been two weeks now. I think it was uh, mm -hmm. two weeks ago. Uh, hit retail. So go, if you're looking for a copy of it or any of other titles, you know, be sure to check with your local game store first yeah. um, before you consider ordering it, you know, elsewhere. Um, but yeah, check, check there first. They don't have it. Then obviously, our, our website's a good place to get it to. Yeah, our local store, Moxie, here in Columbus, Georgia, they had a copy of it. So There you go. Nice. Nice. Yep. And Danny, tell us about where people can find your latest game creations and your illustrations. Uh, that's mostly on just on Twitter, and I go by uh, 3D Divine on Twitter, and I use the same name over at Board Game Geek, so you can talk to me either one of those places. Excellent. Very cool. Well, it was great hanging out with you gentlemen.
Thank you for the invitation, of course. Uh, Bob and I, family on all of the media platforms of your choice, uh, subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. Get us over a thousand. That would be fantastic. Um, and go over to oneboardfamily.com where we've got new content every single week. So that'll do it for this live stream. Until next time, we will see you at the table. At the table. Thank <laughs> you.